What's up, YouTube? This is Ryan with South Jersey Yak Fishing. Uh, in this next episode, uh, it's August 26th. It's a Saturday. Uh, I'm fishing a bridge that uh, I fished all the time last year. Haven't been there too many times this year just because the fishing hasn't been as good there. Uh, but this place is special to me. I've got friends that work there, um, and this is where I caught my very first sheep's head. Unfortunately, there's a lot of small tog and sea bass around. It is not on fire. It was a very slow bite in the morning. I had to wait for my fish. Uh, but eventually I did prevail. Um, I have been fishing all over the place in South Jersey and I fished just about every single bridge down this way with the exception of the Atlantic City one, which I don't know if anybody has noticed, but Rob English put up a post saying that they blocked off the access point for kayaks. So uh, don't waste your time going there until they open it back up. Uh, but just stay tuned and see what happened. It wasn't a bad trip. Check it out. Hello, and thank you once again for tuning in to South Jersey Yak Fishing. Uh, on this particular day, which was a Saturday, uh, it was probably around 9 o'clock. I had an incoming tide, um, and I was fishing this tide in particular because um, of water temperatures. Uh, lately in the back bay, the temperature's been running about 75, so I was looking for that cooling water. The funny thing is, over the two days of the weekend, um, the temperature never really changed. It just kind of stuck at 74, 75 degree range, um, which really kind of makes a lot of the fish lethargic, if I'm not mistaken. There's less oxygenation in the water from what I understand. Um, and the morning was really slow. Uh, it just ended up being a lot of tiny, small sea bass. Never makes me happy. I think I commented in my last video when there's lots of sea bass around. Um, Usually the, the sheep's head bite hasn't been real good for me in those situations. I don't know if that's a thing for anybody else. Um, there was a period of time that I actually left the bridge and went over to a rock pile and started fishing there. I wasn't even rolling camera because it was so slow. I managed to catch four or five tog before I turned the camera back on uh, and went back under the bridge. But the trip does turn out well in the end. Just keep watching. Um, and if you like this sort of content, uh, please hit that subscribe button when the video is done. Uh, now back to the video. Pretty sure he's a keeper. We'll measure him and find out.
That's a sheep. That is a sheep's head. Hey, Peter! Get him over. It took forever. Now nah, shallow water right there. Yeah. Down. They taste pretty good. I mean, I bleed them out, but I'm not keeping this one. Yeah, I got a tog today. He's 20 inches. Nice. Yeah. On your YouTube channel now, right? Oh yeah. Catch and release is a big thing too, so. Nah, it's all right. It was in the last, I think, hour of the tide or hour and a half of the tide, uh, incoming to high tides. I'm going to try for another one. I don't know if there's any more here. Let's see. Ah. Talk about it's turning on.
and let the boat parade begin. Yep, this place uh, is usually good up until about 10, 11 o'clock and then everybody starts coming out in their recreational vehicles and nobody slows down under the bridge. So it just becomes a washing machine full of wakes that ends up being quite dangerous and very unpleasant to fish in because you can't really hold your rod steady or feel the bite. And it seems like every time you get waked into the piling is when the fish hits. So I decided to call it a day. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner. Thank you.